after knowing what intraday trading is and the uses of intraday trading and how you can earn your regular income by intraday trading you might be inspired to start trading but it's not so easy as you think you cannot just uh, open the app and start buying and selling the shares see the price down buy the share sell it at a higher price it doesn't work like that you you cannot know what price is cheap and what price is costly that is the most important factor in the stock market every price looks cheap so if you look at a price you will feel that it is less and the price will go high you might feel like that so generally we might end up doing the mistake of thinking that the company price will keep increasing and we might buy it now and then end up finding that the price is going down so to do the trading properly and to start trading that is if you want to start your intraday trading journey then you must the first thing you must know is technical analysis if you know technical analysis you can master intraday trading yes initially you will do a few mistakes people obviously learn from mistakes it is not as simple as just starting uh, in directly you cannot just directly start and uh, earn, make lots of money crores of profit all that is not going to happen so but yes the beginning the first thing you must do is start with technical analysis so in the technical analysis we master graph so in the fundamental analysis we master the fundamentals of the company how the fundamentally how the company functions how the company is running so we study if the company has any loans and uh, that is the debt and if the company is running very good then about its checkbook uh, about different factors related to the company so but in technical analysis we don't care about how strong the company fundamentally is we the only thing we care about is the graph we study the graph as you know the moment of the prices in the share market is mainly based on the demand and the supply so you can see the graph and easily predict what is the demand and what is the supply so from the demand and the supply there will definitely be patterns in the stock market because we humans are generally emotionally uh, run we run emotionally whatever actions we take generally happen emotionally so the the moment is based on the emotions generally and the graphs have patterns so you can look at the graph and predict the pattern so sometimes a graph goes down up so what are the different types of graph i'm telling you again and again graph so what is actually a graph first of all so graph is a representation of the price movement in the stock market so there is a share what is the moment of the price of the share from where it started and where it ended where it is now what is the current state so within a time period within a certain time period what is the price movement in the graph in the share so that is called that is represented in the form of a graph so there are different ways of representing generally the ones which you might know is the line graph in the line graph you will see the movement in the form of line so you will generally see line just a line you will find or curve all that is called a line graph so this is basically the line graph this is called the line chart so in this line chart as you can see the line is going like this so just imagine a hypothetical uh, uh, share that is some share and here the price is 2 2 rupees just imagine that the price of the share is 2 rupees and the price of the share just goes goes up and goes to 3 then here it goes to 4 like that so the price of the share is moving so this moment you can see that at this certain time period it is 2 rupees then here it is 3 rupees then here it is 4 rupees so here you can see this four like that so the price of the share is represented in the form of a line chart so this is called as a line chart next most popular one you have is the candlestick chart this is the traders most favorite type of chart and this was originated mainly in japan uh, by a rice trader there was a rice trader who discovered this so in the candlestick chart you have such type of candles so these candles represent the chart and the price of the uh, share so here for example how how does a candlestick chart work let me just tell you so in the candlestick chart you can see here in the candlestick chart you have red candle and the green candle so red candle and the green candle so red candle indicates the downward moment red candle indicates the downward moment so the price of the share is going down that is the red candle and the green candle means that the price of the share is going up 
तो बट वट इज दिस कैंडल एक्चुअली वट इज द पोशन ऑन द टॉप लाइक अ विक देन वॉट इज दिस बिलो तो वॉट इज ऑल ऑफ दीज यू मस्ट थिंक सो सी ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर डेट मंथ let me show you how how candlestick started first of all so candlesticks are thought to have been developed in 18th century so actually candlesticks started in 18th century by munishika munishi homa a japanese rice trader they were introduced to the western world by steve nelson in the book uh, japanese candle charting techniques so it was discovered by rice trader and he used to represent the movement of the uh, market the price of the rice so actually what happens and the price keeps moving right when there is a movement in the price like the market opened at 20 rupees and it closed at uh, say 15 rupees so it means that the price has fallen down at the end of the market the price was less so uh, how to, how to represent that it is easier to represent in the form of a line you can show in the line but you will not know what is the moment in between so uh, in between the time period you will not know what is the highest price what is the lowest price in the line chart so at a particular time period like for example let me show you now see so this is candlestick chart this is a red candle and this is a uh, white candle i have shown it black but this this uh, in the market you will find this as a red color and this is green color so here you can see at a time interval at a particular time interval see the graph moves like this it basically moves upward because it is green right i told you green means up so there are two wick you can see the candle wick right this line is called the wick and this is the body of the candle this bar kind of structure is the body of the candle now how does it represent the price so for example you can see high low so the top topmost portion of the wick the topmost portion that you can see here it is the high so it is the highest price that the share has gone to in that particular time frame so for example uh, the share Uh, in in five minutes time, in these five minutes, now the price of the share is going up, down, up, down, and the highest is it has gone is at this price. So this is the highest price. So wherever the candle wick is there on the top, that will show you the highest price of the share. And this is the upper shadow, and this is the close because the candle is going upward. And this is the lowest price. This is the lowest. The below portion of the wick is the lowest price. This is the opening price. So I will tell you. Now the share price has started. The stock market has opened, and you are seeing for five minutes candle. What is the five minutes? So this one candle represents five minutes of time period. So the stock market is going upward. The price of the share is going upward, and the share market has opened here. Then the price of the share has gone up to here. Then it has gone low in five minutes. Uh, within those five minutes, again it has gone to the highest here. Then it has closed here. So this price is the closing price. This is the final price. in the 5 minutes in the at the end of the 5 minutes interval if this candle represents 5 minutes candle at the end of the 5 minutes this is the price that the share is selling to here the place where this portion is this body of the candle is closing will be the price and this is the opening price where the bottom of the body of the candle exist and this is the lowest price that the share has gone in that time frame and this is the highest price so this one candle gives you so much information you can see the movement of the share you can know the highest price you can know the lowest price you can know the opening price and you can know the closing price same thing in the case of a red candle because the price goes downward this is the opening price it might have gone up then again it might have gone down made the lowest but it might have closed here so this is the opening price this is the closing price this is the highest it has gone to and this is the lowest price that the share has gone to so now you you might have understood this is the body of the candle so it is clear now to you that how candlesticks work so this is basically candlestick candlestick shows you the highest price the lowest price the opening price and the closing price so from the candle you can know these four information so candlestick is one of the best ways to represent the uh, movement of the price so here uh, the place where i showed you see this is a red candle right so it opened here the price has opened here so for example the price has opened here let's assume it to be 45 rupees so the share price went down from 45 it has gone down and it might have gone again to 55 here it is 55 for example so it might have gone up to here then it might have gone to 55 then it ended up going to 10 but at the end it has closed to 
where did it close the price of the share has closed to 25 rupees so this portion can be considered as 25 yes and later the price closed here right the price of the share has closed here then from here it has moved up until here it might have gone down but it has closed here so finally at the end of this candle it has closed here then again it has started from here because it has closed here right green candle means it has gone up then again it has started from here and gone up to here it has closed here then again it has gone down and closed here again this has gone down and closed here so at the end our company is going down to the price and this is the highest price this candle has made this is the lowest price this is the highest this is the lowest for this candle so like that you can see the highest and the lowest price that the share is trading for and you can see the opening and the closing price so this particular candle represents this month this is the next month this is the july month this is the august month so like that this one candle represents the whole month so in a month the lowest price it has touched is this the highest price it has gone in the month so in the month of may in the month of may the lowest price the share has gone is almost 10 rupees the highest price that the share has gone is almost here but it has opened at the beginning of the month it was trading for 25 uh, sorry it was trading for uh, 45 rupees and at the end of the month it is it has closed to 25 rupees. then in june the price started from 25 and it has closed to 35 so like that so the candlesticks represent you the four basic informations next i will teach you how from the candles how can you predict the moment so that will be very interesting now you have understood what all a candle represents but by looking at this pattern you can predict whether the next candle is going to be low or up you can predict whether the next candle can go down or up. so to predict all that you have to understand first how the candlesticks work what candlestick is so just go through different graphs that is your homework just after watching the video look at different graphs go through the upstocks app that i have given in the description just download it immediately don't waste your time download the uh, upstocks from the description sign up with upstocks create your dmat account and then watch the graph start seeing the graph click on the candlestick up you will find in the upstocks candlestick option just look through the candlestick and see how the graph moves so you will know what a candle is so learn it and then proceed to the next videos in which you will be learning how to predict the moment and make profit thank you for watching the, thank you for watching the video uh, subscribe to the channel it will be awesome and do share the video thank you